Matt. Election day is just one day away. Mike Lish and Zach Sapone are vying to represent families in District 3. An important issue in this race is housing affordability and managing the growth. Esther Bauer shows us their plans to address housing for the people. Housing is a high stakes issue for anyone who wants to seat here at City Hall. Mike Lish is getting a lot of support from realtors who want to see him elected. They know that I understand it and I can bring that perspective to City Council that we don't have right now. That's why Mike Lish says people in housing are supporting him to bring a fresh perspective to a crisis brewing for years. The can's been kicked down the road for so many years on our housing and it's time for action and it's time to, to really look and dive down and do the stuff that isn't necessarily expedient, but needs to be done to help alleviate this problem. Some of his ideas to fix the problem are to speed up permitting and update zoning, creating more options for families. What we need to do is really start looking at the policies and how they affect how we build, where we build, and what we can build. His opponent, Zach Sapone, thinks he has the best ideas to build on the issues in his district. We want to make our community more walkable and livable, uh, using public transit and investing in that and investing in neighborhoods where you don't have to drive across town to get to the grocery store. He also wants to update zoning and build within the city. Both disagree on where these new homes should go. We don't want more sprawl in our city. We want it along transit lines where we have the infrastructure to, to support it. We're only going to be able to find so much density, so many places to build in Spokane. Eventually we're going to have to talk about that conversation of sprawling out some. The National Association of Realtors and Washington Realtors Political Action Committee have invested nearly 200 $50,000 in the city council election. It's a record amount of money that shows just how important the housing issue is in our community. And Jonathan Bingle has also raised a lot of money from realtors in this election. He's running to represent families in District 1. Reporting in Spokane tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. You'll